Are you looking to test out your station this winter? See how good it does? And stick around for the video with me, KC9OZA. Let's get started. Hello everybody, it's Ryan, KC9OZA. And if you're looking for something to do this winter, test out your station, see how it's doing, then you may want to check out the Winter Heat 2021. Uh, this is the second year of this contest. I did a video last year on it, participated in it. It was pretty fun to see how far I could get out with my station setup. So, if you've never heard of the Winter Heat, the Winter Heat 2021 is a month long amateur radio simplex event. And the goal of this is for amateur radio operators to make as many contacts as possible as they can over the month long period using the simplex frequencies that they have set up so this is open to anyone techs generals extra so the techs are wanting to if you just got your license wanting to get set up see how your station's doing this is a good way to do it or if you just haven't been on the radio for a while, then this may be the event for you. So I'll just go over the website here. So if you're new, you'll sign up here. You'll type in your call sign, your hot or your email, and you'll send it. And you will get an email confirmation. If you don't see it in your inbox, be sure to check your junk mail. For some reason my hotmail was wanting to send it to my junk mail so if you get it and you haven't got your confirmation email be sure to check your junk folder and he also has a Facebook group for this winter heat event I'll show that here in a little bit so the winter heat starts in January as I stated this is the second year and last year with all the participants there was about 6,500 contacts made which last year was open basically to Illinois this year they've made some changes so there's a lot more states to be able to make contact with as I stated it starts on January 1st and ends on January 31st uh, contacts will be via voice and the thing with this contest is you can do it via FM analog or digital so you can do it analog Yezu system fusion DMR D star and we'll go ahead and click here on the guidelines page so here he's got the frequency set up it's a go over the general information here all participants must be registered with the automated logging system so be sure to create your account before you start trying to make contacts uh, this will be on the amateur radio frequencies like I said you can do it on both FM analog and digital DMR fusion D star and here's something to point out the stations may only make contact with the uh, with each other once during a 24 hour period so say I'm here on 2 meter analog on 147.570 I talk to a friend of mine I can make um, contacts with him on all these frequencies here so I can make contact here with him on this two meter frequency I'll get some points make contact with him here 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 and so on and so forth I can make all these contacts on all these different frequencies once during the 24 hour period so if I make contact with him today for example I can log him in I get my points and then I can't make any more contact with him till tomorrow after the 24 hour period and then I can do it again 
And another thing that they've changed this year is when making a QSO, only one of the stations will need to enter the information into the system. So, say I was calling CQ Winter Heat 2020 and another station came back to me. I would make sure to tell them that I was going to enter up here, I'll show you in a bit, the initial QSO. But you don't need to do it twice, so both stations that make contact do not need to make the initial QSO. Only one station, and then the other station will confirm that he did have a QSO. So any unconfirmed QSOs, so say I made a QSO with uh, Jess Hunter, the one that created this, W9ABS, and he said, I'll just give you the contact, I'm not participating, then I'd only get one contact point. But if we were both participating, then I would log the QSO, and then he would go in, confirm it, and I would get 10 contact points. So, that's a little bit different than last year. Also, a QSO can be made with a station that has not signed up with a participant, like I stated. But you will only be given the one contact point. So there's your guidelines. He's got your frequently asked questions here. So, you can view over that. The website for this is centralillinoishams.org slash radioactive slash winterheat. I'll leave it down in the description below. Contributors, they've been testing. They did some testing last year. They've also done some testing this year to make sure that the system's up and running. Here's those gentlemen here that's helped out. Uh, feedback, if you have an issue or something goes wrong, you can fill out here. And it will go to Jess. I know there was a, maybe a few little hiccups last year. He was quick to make uh, replies and or changes to the system. They also have a Brandmeister on DMR talk group if you want to do that. So we'll go ahead here. If you... Like I said, sign up, you'll enter your call sign, you'll hit next, then it'll give you your, you'll fill out your email, make a password, and then be sure to check your junk folder if you don't get the email. So, since I've already created this, I'll go ahead and log in. So, here's my screen that I would see, as you can see I'm logged in. So, I make my contact, I would enter it here. I'd hit next but Jess Hunter we've for the video have made a test contact as you see here so he contacted me on six meters if I do not confirm this he will only get one point so to us to both get our points I need to click here and if you don't see this after you, somebody's logged your contact, you may want to refresh your web page. So I'll just hit confirm QSO. Yes, I did make contact with him. Confirm. So it has been confirmed. So there you see I've made one contact. I've gotten my 10 points. So if you do not get your confirmation, you get one point. If contact is confirmed, you get 10 points so there's that participant list these are the people that are participating this year so far there's 61 as you can see some of them's not verified yet so they haven't gotten their email yet so I am right here I've been verified Here's my profile. You can change that. So we'll go to event status. 
and this will change daily once the contest gets going but this is just from their tests that they've been doing so the leaderboard this will change as people get points it'll show who's got the most down to the least and then how many contacts have been made by the frequencies that you can make contacts on how many contacts that person's made how many contacts have been made by states participants and participants by state they've also included the VHF propagation map this comes in really handy so we'll zoom in here to where we're at and let it load so there's nothing really around us here in Illinois yet so we'll scroll down here and kind of show you so green is the weaker propagation and the more yellow this changes to or orange the better the propagation is so usually in the mornings around us or evenings is whenever we kind of get our propagation so there's that link you can use comes in really handy and here's a map another addition this year of the participants where they're located as you can see mainly Illinois but this year it's also included Illinois and some of the states around Illinois but we got participants from all over the place so Texas Oklahoma Idaho Virginia and West Virginia as well as Pennsylvania Ohio so lots of good stuff here again I'll leave the link in the description this is website is centralillinoishams.org slash radioactive slash winter heat and they also have a Facebook page as well so if you're looking for something fun to do this come in January test out your station and just get a little practice on the radio check out winter heat 2021 and also check them out on Facebook winter heat Facebook group I'll leave the link to that description as well so thanks everybody for checking us out and get out there on the radio and get radioactive <laughs>